Well, now we do want to take you to New York City. We want to talk about that growing support for the bodega worker. It continues to pressure the city's DA office. Bodega workers around the city calling on the murder charges against Jose Alba to be dropped. Alba is at home awaiting his fate after he stabbed and killed the man that came behind the counter of his bodega to confront him. He claims self-defense as bodega workers are calling on the city to do more to keep them safe. Kala Rama from our New York City affiliate WPIX joins us now live. And Kala, what's the latest on this? Nicole, we talked to that bodega worker, Jose Alba, through his door today, who said he could not talk to us on camera, taking the advice of his attorney. He's awaiting his next court date where he's hoping to learn his fate, which is July 20th. And he's hoping that the district attorney will drop his murder charge. He says he's never been in a position like this before. Very gentle, recovering from his wounds after he was stabbed by a woman here. That woman calling in her boyfriend. The whole confrontation caught on surveillance cameras. Take a look. It's quite graphic. 61-year-old Alba stabbed 37-year-old Simon after he cornered Alba behind the cash register, angry because his girlfriend's EBT card was denied. Alba, as I mentioned, is at home with an ankle monitor after a week-long stint on Rikers Island facing this murder charge. Now, the head of the Bodega Owners Association here in New York City is calling for justice. He helped bail him out, saying that the Manhattan District Attorney needs to have the backs of bodega owners across this city because every day they're facing dangerous situations as crime is rising across this city. The District Attorney's office is saying that his office is, investiga is investigating with another court appearance on July 20th. Something interesting here. A GoFundMe page was set up for Jose Alba and his family to pay for their legal defense. However, GoFundMe took that page down, saying they cannot fundraise for the legal defense of a violent crime. Now, bodega owners across the city have Jose Alba's back, helping bail him out and pay for this going forward. Even the mayor of New York City coming out saying that he has the back of Jose Alba, hoping the Manhattan District Attorney does the right thing. We'll hear more about this case in one week when the Manhattan District Attorney is in court on this case once again. We're in Hamilton Heights in New York City. I'm Kala Rama. Nicole, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, so many people watching this one, Kala. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.